Intel Extreme Tuning Utility is an overclocking utility for Intel processors that allows you to change clock speeds, voltages, and other parameters. In this video, we will tell and show you what the program can do and how to use it. The application works only with processors with unlocked multipliers. These are Core i i models with the letters X, E, K, T, X, A in the name, and SIN with the letter. Practice shows that Intel X2 works with some unsupported Intel processors as well. It is sometimes faster to download and check than to open the system properties. At the top of the main page is information about the availability of overclocking for a particular system. At the bottom graphs, load data temperature and so on. The interface is divided into sections, system information, basic tuning, advanced tuning, stress test, benchmarking, profiles, and app profile pairing. System information, basic tuning, advanced tuning, stress test, stress testing your processor under synthetic loading, benchmarking, a simple test to measure performance, profiles, profiles for different tasks. Let's test the system. Open the basic tuning section and click Run Benchmark. The resulting number is the performance of the system without overclocking. Core rate core rate depends on multiplier and base frequency usually must. Cache rate cache frequency also depends on the multiplier. Keep these values in balance for best performance. Increase them gradually, checking for stability and temperature. Don't set it too high so as not to damage the system. Start the benchmark with the button under the sliders. It will display the performance evaluation after overclocking. Compare the value before and after at the top and bottom. Run the stress test. After restarting, select the component PU RAM or KUBU. Set the test time. 5 to 10 minutes quick test for short term load. 30 minutes test for cooling and intermittent load. 3 to 5 hours test for round the clock load. But now it is possible to change multiplier for each core separately and adjust voltage. When increasing frequency, the processor requires additional power. This power is provided by increasing the voltage. But this will cause the temperature to rise, so you need to watch the gauges closely. Open the benchmarking tab and run three or four tests. Record the average before overclocking. In core voltage set the exact voltage value. In core voltage offset add the voltage to the current one. You can do this at most 0.5 hundredths of a second at a time. With Intel Stu you can change the frequencies and voltages of the processor. This is done to improve system performance, noise and temperature. The Turbo Boost Power Max and Turbo Boost Short Power Max parameters are used for this purpose. The link to the program is in the description. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Have a nice day.